Now, next pyramid, Saqqara. So this is a very famous pyramid. It was this supposedly built by Imhotep, the famous genius uh, builder who devised all these principles. Uh, it's very old, again, from the um, a third dynasty. So it's before, again, the, the pyramids of the Giza Plateau. It's a step pyramid, uh, like Gavrenis. <laughs> it's steps, very steep like that. And from this photo, interesting photo, we can see towards the south here, the Bent Pyramid, up the top here. Where am I? The Bent Pyramid up here. This is looking south. This is the Saqqara Pyramid, and we're looking south. And we can see the Bent Pyramid, which, of course, being bent, is, is easy to recognize. <laughs> and then just here is the Red Pyramid, which is the third biggest pyramid in, in Egypt. The Red Pyramid. So I'll be coming on to the Red Pyramid in a minute. And so what we're going to see now is what is the relationship between the Bent Pyramid, Saqqara, and the Red Pyramid. Okay? First of all, let's look at the relationship between Heliopolis Obelisk and Saqqara. Or Saqqara. I, mean, uh, I always say this in French. So You see that the angle from the Heliopolis Obelisk to Saqqara is 16.93 degrees. Now, what's that, 16.93 degrees? What does that correspond to? Very interesting. It happens to be a 7 by 23 relationship. So we saw the number 23 turn up in the last slide as a happy number. And this angle is the inverse tangent of 7 by over 23. So that gives this angle 16.93. But it doesn't stop there, because if we then draw the square down to Gizeh again, and we see the difference between the angles of this line to Saqqara and Gizeh, the result is 28.07. 45 minus 16.93 gives you 28.07 which, if you remember, is the solstice angle at the Giza Plateau. It's twice the angle of the quadruple square. Remember? 14.032 multiplied by 2, 28.07. So, again, this whole number geometry, just it all fits in. You just get the same things coming out. And the, here we're over a distance of nearly... 30 kilometers, 29.94, 29,940 meters between the Heliopolis Obelisk and Saqqara. Okay, so again, happy number geometry, 17 to 23, with the same angles coming up. Now let's look at the relationship between the Bent Pyramid and Saqqara. We saw that the Bent Pyramid was on a quadruple square from, from Heliopolis, and, right? So what about the relationship between these two? The angle between the two is 4.40 degrees, which is the inverse tangent of 1 over 13. So in other words, between the Bent Pyramid and Saqqara, we can draw 13 squares on a north-south line. Now, you may think, oh, well, this is all a bit of a coincidence or whatever. <laughs> but what's interesting to note is that the temple, we saw earlier that you have a valley temple. You have the causeway and a valley temple. And the Bent Pyramid has its causeway. And it has a temple they call the valley temple, but it's not in the valley. It's up on the top. But they call it the valley temple because it's at the end of the causeway, <laughs> right? And if you look closely, you see that that temple is orientated north-south. Um, here it is. It's exactly south of Saqqara. Right? So if you take your 13 squares, that square goes straight down through this temple. Right? And another interesting fact is that the line... The, the, the causeway which goes from the temple here to the Bent Pyramid is also bent. 
It's not a straight line. <laughs> it goes to a certain point, and then it bends off to the middle here. So not only did they get the slope of the pyramid wrong, but they also got the angle of the causeway wrong and had to change that in the middle. Now, I won't go into this this evening, but this geometry, again, all works perfectly. It's not at all done. You can quite clearly see that the, change, the point where it changes direction is the projection of the diagonal here. So it's all worked out. But basically, what I want to show you is how the bent pyramid is related to Sakaha by a 13 square, uh, 1 by 13 relationship. Now let's come to the red pyramid. So this is a, a, a slope of 43.6 degrees. So it's one of the least sloped pyramids, very big base, 220 meter base. Uh, it's also a pyramid apparently built by Sneferu. He was a very big pyramid builder. It was, all this went very fast, of course, you know. Um, now let's have a look at this thing. What's the red pyramid's relationship to Saqqara? 8.13 degrees, recognize that? It's the inverse tangent of 1 over 7. This is a sevenfold square. Okay, so that's very interesting. I could show you all this on Google Earth. If this goes down to the middle of the pyramid. This goes from the Saqqara uh, pyramid to the center, to the point of the red pyramid, the 8.13 degree angle. It's the exact 1 over 7 tangent. Now, why does it do that? It's because the red pyramid is between Saqqara and the bent pyramid. And so it's the middle of this pyramid that is used to put it into relationship between Saqqara to the north and the bent pyramid to the south. So if we look at the whole of this relationship, we see that we have a 13 square from Saqqara to the bent pyramid, and a seven-fold square from Saqqara down to the middle of the red pyramid. But what is quite astounding is that if we measure the north-south distance from Saqqara here down to the red pyramid, it's 7,000 meters. Not approximately, exactly 7,000 meters from the north side of the Saqqara pyramid down to the center of the Red Pyramid. Now, between the Red Pyramid and the Bent Pyramid, between the center of the Red Pyramid and the base, the central base of the Bent Pyramid, which was the point we used earlier, we have here a hundred and, what's that? 171.87 degrees. So this is this way, so we have to extract that from 180. It gives us 8.13 degrees. It's another sevenfold square. So that geometry I showed you earlier with the triple square at the base here and the tenfold square here, then the sevenfold square there and another sevenfold square here, here it is. The Saqqara pyramid is in this corner. The red pyramid is here exactly, and it's the point of the red pyramid, the center of the red pyramid, which is here. And then the bent pyramid is at this spot, and it's the southern base of the bent pyramid that's there. So these three pyramids are positioned to perfectly indicate this geometry. And the unit is 10 meters. Do you remember? So this, where we read here, 70, 30, 210, 700, this is 7,000 meters, 2,100 meters, etc. Now I'll show you this on Google Earth with the measurements, because again, you have to see this to believe it. So I'll add on the 13-fold square 
the thirteenfold square, the septuple square. Where's the other septuple square? Septuple square from bent. Here we go. Let's get rid of this. So, um, bent pyramid, do you have any idea red why? pyramid. Sorry, can we do the questions afterwards? Sorry, because we're taping. Um, just a second, though. Um, Saqqara pyramid. There we go. Uh, I'll get rid of that quadruple square, which is kind of... <coughs> okay, so are they all in there? There's a seven-fold square between the... Here it is. There we go. So let's look at these measurements, you see. Because I've got the squares in here, we can zoom in and see how this works. So you see how this septuple square here is exactly at the top of the Saqqara pyramid, right? So the pyramids are included in the shape. It's the top center. And if I measure from the top of that down, to the summit of the red pyramid. Now, it's not taken from the top, so I'll put the diagonals in. So the summit of the red pyramid. Now we get down to here. Look at the measurement. 7,000 meters. 7,000 meters down the side of a seven-fold square. So each one of these squares is 1,000 meters. Okay. We can check it across the other way, if you like. We'll go from this side across from here across to the other side of the square. Yeah, oh, it's a meter. There you are, thousand. There's the red pyramid right in the center. I've taken the corners and done the diagonals to get rid of the optical effect of the satellite. Okay. Um, the 13 fold square then is 9,001, was it 7,000 plus 2,100? So from this particular point down here, get 2,100 meters. Okay, got it? 2,100. So this whole thing is, in, is set up using the meter. And I don't think there can be any doubt about this whatsoever, because I showed you the geometry to begin with and showed you how the, the three triple square, the tenfold square gives a thirteenfold square and you get a seven square, and that the units to make the whole thing fit were thirty, seventy, and here it is, all worked out in tens of meters. And with three pyramids, in fact, you can get the whole thing. These three pyramids, by their positions, give you the whole thing, which is very interesting. <laughs> now, in case you haven't had enough, I'll just finish. So that's the resume of what I've just said. It's perfectly precise, though, from the north of the Saqqara to the south of the Bent Pyramid. And the Red Pyramid, its summit, is exactly positioned in the middle. Now, there's a pyramid just nearby here called the Black Pyramid, which is quite ruined, as you can see. It supposedly dates from 1850 BC, from the 12th dynasty, from a pharaoh called Amen M. Hat III. Now, this pyramid is here's a, a reconstruction of it from the base that was found. Very interesting because it's linked to 10 over 7. The slope, it's, it's um, 
200 cubits at its base, 52, it's given us 52 and a half meters. I'd go for 52.36 meters, which is 100 cubits, it's half base, which gives it a base of 200 cubits as a base length. And its height is 1,000 over 7 cubits, because its slope is 10 over 7. And you remember that the distance between the Menek and the Care Mario alignments was 10,000 over 7 meters. Right? So it's the same kind of unit which was used in Karnak for measuring between the two series of alignments, the same kind of number system as what we have here. Uh, now, if we go from the Bent Pyramid to the summit, from the summit of the Bent Pyramid to the summit of the Black Pyramid, oh, sorry, we have an angle of 81.87. This is 8.13 degrees north of east-west. It's a sevenfold square. What's very interesting is that the distance is 1,414 meters, which is 1,000 times the square root of 2, but which also gives you on a sevenfold square a side length of 200 meters. So the Black Pyramid has a base of 200 cubits, and the squares leading, which link the, the top of the Bent Pyramid to the top of the Black Pyramid have units of 200 meters. Now this might seem like a sort of coincidence. So let's look at the relationship between this same point, the summit of the Black Pyramid, and Saqqara, 4.4 degrees, 13-fold square. From the Black Pyramid here. So this 13-fold square is slightly smaller than the Bent Pyramid, is it's slightly further north. And the distance, the measurements here are really quite interesting because the side length of a square is 676 meters here, which is 13 cubed by 4. Now seeing this is the 13 side square, it's quite interesting to find a measurement in meters based on a power of 13. <laughs> okay, so again the Black Pyramid is paced in exactly the same way. Now this apparently was done in, in 1800 BC, in the beginning of the Middle Empire. So if it was done at that date, that means that the knowledge had been carried on and that they started reconstructing the thing. And then I looked at another third, um, third dynasty pyramid, one of the first oldest pyramids called the Maidum Pyramid. It's a very strange pyramid. It had a kind of big base. It seems to have been rebuilt several times, but it has incredibly steep walls and it's a step pyramid. It's, this is older again than, than the Giza pyramids. Now, this pyramid, with respect to the Black Pyramid, is a sevenfold square again, exactly 8.13 degrees off the south axis. But this time we're talking about 45.2 kilometers south of the Black Pyramid. So we can see in the end, look at this, this goes from the Heliopolis obelisk to Giza, to Saqqara, to the Red Pyramid, Black Pyramid, Bent Pyramid, and right down here to Medum. The whole distance between Heliopolis to Medum is 2,700 arc seconds, which is exactly three quarters a degree of latitude. <clears throat> right? It's quite some distance. And so what we can say, uh, that what was going on here is precise ancient cartography which seems to have taken into consideration the size of the Earth and which was using the meter length as its basic measurement. <clears throat> and if you remember, the meter length, when Napoleon introduced it after the French Revolution, was defined as the ten thousandth or the ten millionth part of one quarter of the Earth's meridian. So if you go from the North Pole to the equator, and you divide that by 10 million, you get the meter length. And so the meter length was initially defined as being related to the size of the Earth. 
which means that its use here by the ancient Egyptians is really interesting. And I'll just finish by showing you this picture. I don't know if you know about these megaliths. These megaliths were found in the Egyptian desert of a long way south, um, uh, about the latitude, I think, of Abu Simbel, but way off into the desert. And uh, these people, do you know about the Nabta Player megaliths? These group of researchers, which had nothing to do with megaliths whatsoever, they were driving along this track and they stopped uh, to go to the toilet. And the guy saw this bit of stone coming out of the ground, thought, what's this? Started scratching. And they found a, a stone circle erected in the desert. And this has become one of the major archaeological sites in the world. And uh, it's, it goes back to 9,600 BC. These stones were erected about 4,800 BC which corresponds approximately to the time of the beginning of Karna. So the question, just to finish this talk, is do you think it's possible then that the megalithic Nabta Playa could be a remainder of this ancient connection between Karnak and the Egyptian pyramid?